good morning everybody i welcome to today's session in this session you'll be solving the problems on the earthen dams without drainage galleries i'll take out the same example problem for which we have provided a drainage gallery in the last session so there the coefficient of permeability of the dam is 5 into 10 rise to minus 4 centimeter per second level of top da top of the dam is 200 meter level of deepest riverbed that is lower rl is 178 and the rl of full high flood level of reservoir is 197.5 so using this one you can calculate what is an height of a and b and then they have given a width of top width of the dam is 4.5 and side slopes as at an upstream level it is 3 is to 1 and downstream level it is 2 is to 1 and the length of horizon so here the is we are not going to provide the filter and same thing we have to calculate the protic line as well as we have to calculate the discharge so for that so this will be your diagram so this is your profile of the dam and then using the same here this one is 200 rl and down RL is about 178 and this one is about 197.5 using this one you will get this height and then using the slope 3 is to 1 you will be getting this distance and this is 4.5 and this distance can be calculated using same slope 2 is to 1 they have given and this height is about 22 and then you will be getting this distance so this distance plus 4.5 plus 22 So 4.5 plus this distance. So this distance is equal to overall distance. If you want it very clearly, then here this is 200, this is 178 and this height you will be getting as 22 meter. So using that height, you will be getting this distance. So it is about 44, correct? And this is about 4.5. 5 and this distance is 7.5 plus this distance that is BC distance that is 17.5 so if you want overall distance is 44 plus 7.5 plus 4.5 plus 17.5 so overall you will be getting 73.5 so this is a profile of the dam next we'll start up with the problem here first thing same has like in in the previous problem what you have solved you have to go for protic lines in protic line see This is a starting point of the protic line, G point, and this is an end point of the uh, protic line, wherein you have got what is an height of the protic line, that is Y axis, you know, and X axis, you know, correct? X axis is about 73. So, X axis, uh, overall, this distance, you have to 
go for protic lines correct ah so here the x value will be 73.5 and y axis will be 19.5 that is height of this this height and this distance we have to plot protic lines for each 10 meter interval so first for x 0 and i have i am going to calculate what is y and for x 10 what is the value of y and then for 20 what is the value of y so similarly you have to go for x 73 here for the calculation of a in the, we'll be using this formula here the d value is about 73.5 and h value is about 19.5 and the alpha value you'll be taking about 30 degree and you'll be getting the value of a approximately 12.5 meter next we'll calculate what is delta a here to calculate delta a there is a formula delta a is equal to a plus delta a into 180 minus alpha divided by 400 so using this one i'll take this one to the lhs so your equation will be delta a divided by a plus delta a and if i solve this 80 180 minus alpha alpha is 30 Divided by four hundred, you'll be getting value approximately point three six. So then, using this one, you can calculate what is delta A is about seven point three. And next, we have to calculate what is Q. So Q is equal to K into S. I know this S value and K value they have given in the problem itself. So you'll be getting Q value is approximately one point two eight into ten raised to minus three meter cube per second per meter. So this ends your second module. In the next session, we'll start up with the third module that is spillways.